my family has served for over 200 years, and a lot of that was during the days of the life saving service right here on the Outer Banks. I love driving boats, being on the water. Growing up around here, it's, it's something that is ingrained in you. I'm currently a brake hand coxswain for the 47 foot motor lifeboat. What the surfmen accomplish is, is pretty incredible itself, just driving, driving a boat in hazardous conditions, but let alone being able to take care of your crew, your vessel, and then rescue other people's lives at the same time, pending potential of 20 foot breaking seas is, is pretty wild. And for the coxswain, um, they really have to be the calm in the storm. Due to the shelf on the east coast, much of the surf is wind driven and the period is very short, meaning the, the distance between waves. Essentially, you get the washing machine effect out here. The reason that I became a surfman was uh, you're driving boats in the surf and it's, it's, yeah, you're there to affect a mission, but it's exciting work and it's uh, rewarding and it takes a tremendous amount of skill. And that kind of attracted it to me is, was uh, how difficult it was. Uh, it was something to achieve. It was a good long-term goal and it takes a lot of dedication to get there and uh, that's why I really pursued the path. I think the number one thing that uh, a coxswain needs to operate in that environment is the ability to, to keep a cool head. Uh, things are going to go wrong, um, as you saw from <laughs> some of the footage that you took when I was driving, and you, you just have to be able to maintain that calmness and uh, get through the situation you're in and get the boat into safe water. Um, if people are, are not able to maintain the, uh, the, the, that calmness or are, are prone to panicking, it's really not the, uh, the career path that you, that, that you want to pursue. Surf stations are notorious for training some of the best crewmen because no matter what, we always train as if this were surf or this were heavy weather. All crewmen and engineers are expected to be able to certify in any and all conditions. I am working on my way to becoming a surfman. I'm currently a heavy weather coxswain uh, in the middle of trying to recertify after transferring from one unit to another. What I would tell an, a, an aspiring surfman is, uh, the main thing is to educate them that it's, it's more than just driving in the surf. It's more than just driving a 47 in the surf or, or, or rescuing folks in the surf. It's a complete package. It's, it's how you carry yourself um, on and off the field, so to speak. Uh, it takes a tremendous amount of professionalism, maturity. Um, you need to be able to prove that you can make good decisions and that you can put others before yourself. When, and, that, and that doesn't just mean um, on the boat. That means uh, here at the station as well. It's a long process to get, the, get to that point. Uh, you have to stay focused. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, ups and downs, just like with any, any goal that you set. Um, but you really need to keep that focus on and have uh, surround yourself with, with good people to, to, to mentor you and push you in the, in the right direction. It's a great community filled with like some of the best people in the Coast Guard. Um, I've had uh, the privilege of serving with just some really awesome folks. As far as I'm concerned, the people make the unit, um, not the location.